And that's why the face and the mug look so good, right? So photo shoot, makeup artist, hairstylist, it's amazing. Um, and one of the, actually the makeup artist there asked me, well, what does an intuitive life coach do anyway? And I wish somebody had recorded me because it's probably the most eloquent I've ever been. And then I thought when I walked through the door, um, coming home that, well, I'm not going to waste this mug and all this amazing work that they did. I'm going to jump on and try to repeat what I said, but it also made me think that, well, maybe there are others that don't know what an intuitive life coach does. Now, I can only speak to what Vicki Baird does and how I work as an intuitive life and development coach, because my premise is that everybody has intuition within them and everyone is born with it. You're all wired in a way that allows you to access that. And yet maybe we just don't know that. So the way that I work as an intuitive coach is I not only help you to align with yourself and who you truly are, because that fake it to make it thing is BS because it won't feel good and you'll always be out of alignment with yourself if you're faking it. So I feel like my job is to reflect to you your greatest attributes and who you are and what your wiring is. And in order to do that, I use my intuitive abilities to what I call my movie screen and I tap into that to see what might be in the way. My particular um, strength and love is finding where the challenges are for people and, and helping them to move that because a lot of the times we can't see it for ourselves and that's a protective mechanism of our brain and it's wonderful in certain circumstances, but if you want to expand and to really feel like you're lined up with yourself <clears throat> and who you are, then sometimes we need that external view to be able to sometimes even accept how amazing we are. And when I work with someone on a coaching, whether it's in a class, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, or whether it's in a corporation and helping people to <laughs> act like humans, um, nice, aligned, spiritually connected humans. And basically that means kind and intelligent and considering the fact that we have all these facets. So when I work with someone, it may be that I have to be direct about what your um, skills, benefits, um, lit up energy talents are like sometimes I have to say to people but you don't see this and and that's okay if you don't but let me paint you a picture of what I'm seeing and conversely sometimes I have to say is that the behavior of who you would like to be or is that the behavior acting out who you've been in the past and would you like to shift that and is there a belief behind it that's getting in the way of you shifting that and if it is well then we use my optimal wiring process and we shift not only the spiritual, the energy, everything spirit, everything is energy. So we shift that, but we also shift the thinking process, which means that you have to get into the physiology. You have to get into those neural pathways because at the basis of all of our excuses, can't get things done, can't get out of my own way, haven't been able to figure out what doesn't feel quite great in here, are beliefs and they're usually beliefs that are stuck and I just go in with my little chisel and my hammer and we move those along through breathing statements connection to the heart getting the brain and the heart and spirit to all work together and I had said to this young man oh, what a gorgeous guy really his energy and his whole self just lit up I'm so grateful that um, I will wash my face, but I kind of want to keep the energy of it for a little bit longer. 
So he had said to me, well, I never thought of having a coach for myself. I tend to coach other people. And that's very true of most of us. We do tend to support others more than we support ourselves. So one of the benefits of having a coach is that redirection, is having someone to say, okay, I hear all the amazing things you're doing in the world, and how are you bringing that home to yourself? How are you lining up with not only who you are today, but who do you want to be? If you don't have goals, if you don't have something that you want to strive for, well, I'm sorry, you're just coasting in this lifetime. And physical life is way too beautiful to be spending it twiddling our thumbs and not really invested in in who we are. So when he asked me, well, <laughs> what is an intuitive coach? I gave him my perspective of everyone deserves to have someone who really believes in them, but who's not going to bullshit them, who's not going to fluff their skirts or just tell them what we think they want to hear. There's enough of that in the world. I think honesty, when delivered kindly, is the most powerful shift we can make. When someone reflects back to me something that they're seeing that I'm not aware of, I am so grateful because that then lines up with my what my soul asked me to do, which was expand and to learn and to grow. So why would you hire a coach? Well, for all of this, to stop wandering around in circles and trying to figure out well, what could I shift? How could I shift? We have information overload out there. And you can go in a million different directions. And I have courses that will help you figure out who you are too. So I'm part of that information that's out there. But I also feel like I deliver a service that cuts right through all of the minutia and all of the wondering that's going on out there. And I think it's important that people learn that all of us learn how to listen to that voice that's within it doesn't have to stay small it doesn't have to stay quiet um, it can be trusted and listened to and i feel like the best coaches are teachers when they say no 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 let me enhance and help you enhance who you are and then run with that Take it out there, <laughs> feel great about who you are, and then bring that out into the world if you so choose. I think we do a lot of wonderful, um, exponential, expansive energy by simply adoring who we are. And I just wanted to put that out there today because he asked the question, and I love that both he and the, the woman who did my hair today, um, they really listened. And I appreciated that because it felt like a platform for me to practice saying what I do because I'm learning to be a self promoter. And these are the things that we all have something that we want to expand on, need to expand on. So this process of learning who you are does not have to be one that you do by yourself and you constantly bump up against barriers and insecurities and beliefs that other people have knowingly or unknowingly installed within you. And I feel like if there are those of us out there saying, hey, I can help you to learn to be your most connected, loving, joyful, um, energetic self, like to have the energy to truly enjoy life, well then maybe it's worth stepping out for. So having said that, I have a live event this Friday in the Berkshires and there are some spots left and I was thinking on the way home, well if this is what I'm telling someone in a private setting right before I smile for the camera, then I should tell you guys too, aren't you a little bit tired of going in circles? So I'm boldly saying, I can help you stop doing that. I can help you find the next point and achieve that direction that then builds on itself and 
to maybe stop going around and repeating old patterns. And we can start it with a live event. You can go to my website, VickiBaird.com, to sign up. And I thank you all for showing up today. I appreciate it. And for waving and all these um, highs that are popping up because this is what it's about, right? We, I personally believe, all could learn how to share what it is we bring the world in our best selves and then see how that can join up with all the other amazing gifts that are out there. So this is me doing what I asked my clients to do. And that was the other thing that came to me on my ride home was I asked people to step out there boldly and I asked them to claim their skills. And that's necessary, I believe, for any amount of success. But I also cannot be a hypocrite <laughs> because that will bug me. And I totally wanted to take advantage of the look because we all know I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to this stuff. So may as well grab it where we can. So what are you going to do today to promote yourself? Um, how are you going to claim some of your own skills, your powers? Put it in the comments. Tell somebody in your life. Send me a message. Do something that where we can make this a uh, kind of a relay race of fun energy of getting it and, and hopefully impacting someone else. Because I think when we act as examples of, yeah, this is what I do and I can do it without a fat head um, and I can do it and receive remuneration for it and really appreciate my own life and then bring that to others, no matter what your skill set is, no matter what your gift you may have the best smile. You may have the heart that says, you know, bring somebody flowers just because. You may give the gift of beauty through your art. Um, you may help somebody feel like they're glowing because you know how to properly apply makeup. <laughs> it, I'll learn one of these days. Um, that's a level of expansion I'm not ready for just yet. So thank you for coming on and paying attention and finding out what do I do anyway. And yes, there is a benefit to working, I think, with an intuitive coach because when you can't figure it out, I can. And I'm happy to share. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and a beautiful week and the rest of this uh, September month and really embrace all that this universe has to give us. So thanks, bye. Thank <laughs> you.